All right, I'm gonna be reacting to Trouble by Ice Cream Sandwich. I love Ice Cream Sandwich's videos. Always so well animated and hilarious and relatable too. So let's get into it. You know the feeling you get when you get in trouble? Hey, 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 hands on the cookie jar. You're not supposed to be having cookies. Wait, whoa, wait, whoa, I got you. I got you red handed. Wait, whoa. Not a good feeling. Or the feeling of when you get in trouble. Exaggeration, but it's wrong. funny. All that shame mixed with all that rage an intense feeling a terrible feeling i don't like it <laughs> i've gotten into trouble for things that are absolutely not my fault i've experienced injustice however i've learned from these experiences and grown ew this one time i was in recess recess was wrapping up all of our students were lining up to go inside the teachers were counting our heads while we waited during this i was standing next to a kid named Devin. We were mild friends, so we were talking to pass the time. While we were talking, he came to me with an idea. Mild Not friends. a good idea, mind you, but an idea. I bet that I could, like, punch really close to you and not actually punch you. No, I don't want to do that. Like, really? No, I don't. No, trust me, watch. <laughs> he hit me in the throat. Damn. You know how that Damn, feels? Devin. Well, using state-of-the-art technology, we've rendered a precise 3D depiction of the event, allowing you to relive it just as intensely as I did. <laughs> Yo, this is another level ice cream sandwich. I understand if that was difficult to witness. Now, normally, <laughs> on the playground, when somebody hits somebody else, the assailant goes to the principal's office. But when the teachers saw this kerfuffle, they thought that they saw two kids fighting and not one kid a, a victim. They quickly went to dole out some justice. <laughs> hey, both of you, principal's office, now. Oh. <sighs> This is clearly unfair, but I thought I could square it off with the principal since, you know, it's an unfair situation, obviously. Right. And nobody in their right mind would put a victim in the doghouse for their absolute innocence, right? I hear you two have been causing some trouble fighting on the playground. No, he hit me. Uh, 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 doesn't matter who hit who first. No, I didn't do anything. Do not make excuses. This is a lesson. Fighting gets you nowhere in life. But I'm sending a note to your parents. Be thankful that is all I am doing. You can go back to your classroom. As we walked back to class and I thought about what just happened, I was feeling like I had learned something. All right, boys, what's our takeaway? Principles are scary. We need to articulate better. Sometimes <laughs> authority figures are wrong and people can make mistakes when trying to do good, ultimately resulting in injustice. No way, guys. I got it. I mean, all right, yeah, good work, team. We did it. Yeah, all right, yeah. I it. Woo! and I never talked to Devin again. That wasn't the only time I went to the principal's office. <laughs> the other time was technically <laughs> because I broke the rules, but only because I was being cool and awesome. I never I'm went not to about the principal's to office. For being cool and awesome. I was in high school in study time, the class everyone takes to absolutely not study and just hang out instead. One day, I thought it'd be really cool to bring in some cards to show my friends a new magic trick that I learned. Is this your card? Yes. Witch back! Back you witch! <laughs> what? It's just a card? <laughs> now, if you've been through the American school system, you know there are five. really dumb rules that don't always make sense. For example, you are not allowed to wear hats. But I look good! So, yeah, that there was sucks. School Why can't you wear hats? Playing cards because it promoted gambling somehow. Which I thought was Can weird. I... Because, you know. Let me just, let me just, technology. hold on. But I really wanted let me just say show my friends the magic. Let me just say something about hats, right? They're another form of expression. I don't see it as a sign of disrespect, to be honest. You know, like let kids wear hats. It's not a big deal at all, at all. You know, that's all. That's all I wanted to say. Like, even though I was not allowed, and <laughs> I brought the cards anyway. Later, when I got into study time, I took out my deck of playing cards to show my friends the magic trick. Is this your card? Ooh, Whoa. What? Cool. The devil's work. How did you do that? <laughs> ah, yes. Classic curiosity. But a magician never reveals stuff. But then, some other people in the That's class not that how I it goes, knew but saw part okay. of what was going on, so they came no, over to check it's it working. out. Hey, what are you guys doing? The devil's work. It's a magic trick. Yeah, it's super he cool. Threw that in you there. That? Well, you know. Magic! I want to see. So I did the trick again. Is this your card? 
Oh, yeah. Cool. How'd you do that? Magic. But then the class <laughs> supervisor noticed people having fun. How dare we? What How dare they have fun? Oh, uh, it's a magic trick. That's all. Uh, you're not supposed to be playing cards. You know that, right? Well, yeah, but we aren't what? playing games. We're just, yeah. Okay, principal's office. What? Why? You talk back to me. Pack your stuff and go. So I went down to the principal's office with a lot of shame and bitterness. Why did he have to scold me in front of everyone? Right, like it's like the power complex. Like, that's to explain. disgusting. We were having fun, not gambling. The rule doesn't even make sense. People were having a good time. Hey, I hear you were playing cards in class. <laughs> Imagine getting <laughs> sick. Then all the emotions just kind of <laughs> spilled out. I really don't do good with confrontation, and I think I'm scared of authority. But the principal was really nice about it. She told me, just don't bring cards in school again. She said it's a weird rule, but just she requested I follow it. To which I agreed, and in that moment I learned <laughs> not all rules are fair, but they don't need to be to still get in trouble. And that's pretty lame. Also, maybe I should yeah. have eaten that angel on my shoulder. <laughs> Sorry, this other time, back in fourth grade, I got in trouble Yo. for doing nothing. And I'm still mad about it. I was in music class at the time where we were learning how to play the recorder, a beautiful and refined instrument. If you've ever played the recorder, you know it's a really easy instrument to play. So when kids get a hold of yeah, it, we they all play do the recorder. Kids do best. This made it really hard for the teacher to teach us anything. Okay, kids, now to play the B note, you need to, you need to cover these. <laughs> Basically, that's how it's environment would test point. anybody's patience. Imagine trying to do anything while somebody's just tooting randomly. In I your can't theater. even remember okay. how we were graded in that class. Did we even get a grade? Like, I think all you have to do is show up to record a class, and that was it. That was like my first music lesson in grade school, I think. Yeah. But anyway. Gentlemen, for this experiment, we need to be very, very careful. So no sudden noises or movement. Oh no! <laughs> I could tell the teacher was getting really close to snapping because she gave us an ultimatum. Next person to toot their recorder cannot play for the rest of class. Okay, so to play this note. Okay, who was that? <laughs> but nobody answered. So I she thought looks crazy. I just clear my name right off the bat. So I said, was it me? Okay, Andy, put your recorder under your chair. You cannot play for the rest of class. Mm -mm. Wait, but it wasn't me. Recorder under chair. Oh, I see. We're punishing uh, uh, honesty now. I laid my soul bare. Is this how we think justice should work? Okay, defendant, how do you plea? Innocent, guilty. Huh? Guilty. You're guilty. How do you? Wh what? Why would you say that? You said you're innocent. So obviously, you know. That's a good 20 point. Twenty years, no bail. So I put my recorder under the chair and looked around the room. Like you can't to find prove out that he. Who the real rule breaker was, so I could he clear his name. My now tarnished reputation. Somewhere out there is a criminal, a wrongdoer, walking free, and I'm here bearing the burden of their crimes. But in the end, I never found them, and I ended up taking all the blame. Hey, 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 what? Check it out, I made a new plush! You may acquire him <laughs> if you desire. The plushie is live now. We're doing pre-orders and then shipping him out in September. So if you want him, he is here and he is sweet. I want one. Uh, thank you. But I don't have money. And thanks for watching. <laughs> don't eat him. Yeah. Yeah. It's, life isn't fair <laughs> at this point. Like, what I've learned, there are a lot of ways to cheat the system. That aren't good. I think I still have my recorder. Or not. I could have thrown that out. That's gross if I still have it from when I was in grade school. Grade school was a... T but anyway, yeah. I love ice cream sandwiches videos. They're always hilarious. They catch me off guard. <laughs> when he got up on that table and twerked. I think we wouldn't catch that, but we did. But yeah. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Like and subscribe. Post all the time.